everyone, how are you? So um, a couple of months ago, I bought a book, but I haven't had the chance uh, to read it to you at school. So I'm going to do it now. Um, it's called um, I Want a Cat. Jessie wanted a cat. All her friends had pets. Some of them had big pets and some of them had little pets. So there is a horse and the mouse. Which of them do you think it's a, a big pet? The horse, right? It's a big pet. The mouse, it's a little pet. Okay? Jessie felt that she was the only girl in the world with no pet. Zero. No pet for Jessie. And Jessie wanted a cat. Her, <clears throat> her mom and dad always said no. Crowly, creepy, yoli things, they called them. Her parents didn't like cat. So they kept giving Jessie toy cats instead. But Jessie wanted a real cat. She didn't want a, a toy cat. She wanted a real cat. Then um, Jessie had a wonderful plan. She collected lots of fluffy white cloth, some needles and cotton, and locked herself in her room. Hmm, let's see. What happened? And she made herself a cat suit. Whoa. Next, she took all of her proper clothes and buried them in the garden. I'm going to be the cat in this house, she purred. What on earth do you think you're doing? said mom. I'm going to be like this until I get a cat, said Jessie. And if I don't get a cat, then I'm going to be like this forever. <laughs> On Monday, Jessie went to school. When the teacher saw her cat suit, he shouted so loudly, she jumped up on top of the blackboard and wouldn't come down even for a saucer of milk. See, she's on top of the blackboard. This is the blackboard. This is the milk. This is the teacher. And she's here. On Tuesday, Jessie went to the rest to a restaurant. Cats don't sit at tables, said Jessie, even in posh places. A posh place is a very elegant place. place. So she's eating under the table, like a proper animal. Milk and trout, she said to the waiter, and please don't cook the trout. May it be served down here? Certainly, madam, said the waiter. Soon Jessie began to smell of fish. When it was time for bath and bed, Dad went to catch Jessie, 
Now you'll have to take that silly suit off, he, he grinned. No, I won't, said Jessie. Not until I get a cat. She's doing her bath with the cat suit on. See? Then Jessie curled up on her bedroom floor. She's not sleeping on the bed. See? Like cats. She's sleeping on the floor. Then Jessie curled up on her bedroom floor. In the middle of the night, Mom and Dad were roused by a horrible noise. It was like a million pigs falling downstairs. And then neighbors banging on the front door. What happened? It was Jessie on the garden wall. I want a cat! She was howling. Give her a cat, complained Mr. Biggs from next door. Give her a cat, complained Mr. Fix. Shouldn't be allowed, complained Mr. Mrs. Fix. Give her a cat, complained Mom. Everyone is complaining. She's making a lot of noise. So, early next morning, Dad went down to the pet shop and chose a cat. He took it to Jessie's door and knocked. Yay, finally. Jessie, he called, I've got a surprise for you. Woof, woof, said Jessie. I want... Finish. So at the end of the story, she changed her mind and she wanted a dog. Okay, I hope you liked it. See you. Bye.